Good evening. We're all gathered here tonight, connected by our collective concern for housing and the general well-being of our communities. Many families in this room have already lost their homes or are in the process of losing their homes. This report will show that the rate of foreclosure has dramatically increased not only across the nation and in our county, but right here in our city of San Jose. It is a problem we must address today. We cannot wait for the world to change. We must make changes in our city now. Every 10 seconds, a family loses their home in America. In the next month, 250,000 families will lose their home. Three billion people would have lost their home by the end of 2009. By 2012, over 6,500,000 families will have lost their homes. As you can see from this map, families across the country are affected by this foreclosure crisis. Families in California are the hardest hit, the red spots. In our state, there has been a dramatic increase in foreclosures. We in the Bay Area have experienced a disproportionate loss of family homes. Foreclosures have jumped from 410 in the third quarter of 2007 to 2,165 in the third quarter of 2008. This is a 428% increase in foreclosures in our county. Two of the top 10 zip codes with the highest foreclosure rates in the Bay Area are right here in the city of San Jose. In our research with the housing department, we ascertained that one major impact of foreclosure in San Jose is depressed property values. In our research with the Neighborhood Housing Services of Silicon Valley, NHSSV, we discovered an even more alarming problem, social blight. Families are displaced from their homes, children are displaced from their schools, and families are suffering under tremendous emotional stress. As you can see, the crisis is far from over. In the fall of 2010 and late fall of 2011, adjustable rate mortgages are expected to peak. There are $500 billion in adjustable rate mortgages still scheduled to adjust in 2009, 2010, 2011. 60% of these adjustable rate loans are right here in California. Despite the $7 billion that Congress authorized for the Treasury's financial rescue plan, lenders are not voluntarily modifying loans. So what about taxpaying dollars? October 3rd, our government committed $700 billion of our taxpaying dollars to a bailout package. October 7th, the Feds bought up $1.3 trillion of debt from companies. October 8th, the government loaned $38 billion more to AIG Insurance. October 14th, FDIC temporarily guaranteed up to $1.4 trillion in loans between banks. November 25th, the Feds bought $600 billion more in mortgage-backed assets and agreed to lend $2 billion to holders of consumer loan-backed securities. None of this money trickled down to homeowners. Foreclosures are still happening in our nation, in our state, in our county, and in this city. Lenders are not using this money to help people like you and me. Today, foreclosure remains the most common outcome, not loan modifications. So what is the solution? Keep families in their homes. Say it with me. 